This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the description of the video for the full playlist. In the last video, we looked at some quick ways to see information about your memory. Today, we're going to look at a few quick options about your CPU, about your processors. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, a great little tool uh, is top, gives you a little bit of CPU information there, cue to quit out of that. And HTOP gives you a much better visual. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, eight cores on my processor here, so you can see each one broken down on how they're working. So it gives you a little bit more information there and a visual of how they're being used. Both HTOP and TOP um, are readily available, but not necessarily installed on your system by default, so you may have to install them. Just use your repositories through your software, uh, your package manager, apt-get, aptitude, or whatever package manager you use on your system. Uh, next command you can try is lscpu is usually available, and that will give you some CPU information. For some reason that doesn't work, you can get similar information by saying cat forward slash proc forward slash CPU info. And we'll hit enter. You can see that gives the same information, uh, but broken down for each um, each core. And you can also look at the man file for um, LCPU, and it will tell you more information on how to break down that information. And last but not least, uh, we're going to look at a program called MStat, or sorry, MPStat. Uh, which is most likely not installed on your system by default. It is part of a package um, called Sysstat. So use your package manager, whether it be Aptitude, AppGet, or whatever. Uh, the package is probably called Sysstat. has a number of programs in there, one of which is MStat. And you're going to want to use sudo for this, sudo, and hit enter, and it will give you some CPU information here. And if we do CPU1, you'll notice that it continually goes on and on. And when it's doing it, it has an interval of one second because we use one. If I do the same command with two, there'll be a two second delay in between each output. And of course, on up, I can say like five seconds. So there's going to be five seconds in between each update, depending on how quickly you want to see information come up on the screen. Uh, and if we quickly use man for MP stat, we can see all the different commands here, the switches, the arguments that you can pass to it. Um, and you can see interval count, that's what we were doing. Uh, and then there's also the dash A command, which actually incorporates a few of the different commands here. So let's go ahead and give that a try. sudo MP stat dash capital A. Remember things are case sensitive. We'll hit enter, and woo, we get a lot of information here that you can look through. This part isn't too well formatted, but if we come up to the top, you can see each core broken down here, and it just gives you a little more information. Just read through the man file for more information on that. Again, I think uh, the quickest and easiest way is HTOP gives you a nice quick visual, uh, and the other commands are, are good if you want to log stuff to a file. You can grep through the output of the other commands, but if you just want to qu get a quick visual, HTOP is great for that. I uh, thank you for watching. As always, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. As always, I hope that you have a great day.